Good morning guys. The sun has returned to central Portugal. It has been so wet. It's just wild. But one of the benefits is we have so many flowers. I've never seen it so colourful and green here. Um, so even though it is a bit difficult with all the rain, it's we're very grateful for it. As well, it is, it is really lovely, especially when the sun then does come out. It just looks beautiful here. We're going to hopefully continue kind of where we left off last week. Uh, we have a map of the land I was showing you last week, um, which we've divided it into sections. And we're just kind of going through each section to try and tick off any tasks that we can do within that, because spring is really important to look after the land basically as it is getting pretty wild. We have some noisy chickens I think they're really happy the sun's back as well they look so bedraggled when it's so wet. But first things first I just would like to tell you about Aura who are kindly sponsoring today's video. I do sometimes struggle with falling asleep and one thing that I do tend to lean on when I'm struggling to fall asleep is meditation. For nearly three weeks now I've been using Aura which is a new mindfulness and meditation app. What I'm I'm loving so far about this app is that it has a real diversity compared to other apps that I've used as the content on there is created by hundreds of expert coaches and therapists around the world so you can really search for what suits you. I actually woke up at 1am last night I think the cats were fighting and I was struggling to get back to sleep so I just went and grabbed my headphones and I put on a track called Fall Asleep Fast and I don't actually remember the end of it so I clearly nodded off <laughs> pretty quickly. If you'd like to add a little more calm into your life or have a little help with easing into sleep then there's a special link in our description to Aura and the first 500 people who click on it will get a free trial and 25% off. I hope if it sounds like something you'd like to add to your daily life that you will check them out let us know how you get on. Hello everybody, how's it going? We've actually got some sunshine, makes change. It actually rained for seven days straight, a few gaps in between, but it's been tricky. But we have some sun, good for some rest. The old ribs are definitely getting better. Thanks for all the kind messages. Yep, definitely there now. I can stream and it doesn't hurt too much. So I've managed to do around this well, which is looking a bit cleaner. I think we might have to get the, the kayak out and get inside and clean the inside. Maybe do that in a few weeks. We're in segment two of the land and we're going to clear up a bit of the garden, get some wood piles going, a few other spring cleaning jobs. Um, we also got a delivery from our local-ish builder's yard, so we need to get that waterproofed. So. Yeah, let's see where we get to. Thank you. 
in case you're wondering, this tree here is, stroke was, a lemon. And now it is the result of the rootstock going crazy. So those of you that are long-term viewers here, you remember us uh, like plaiting the shoots earlier on to try and make this one trunk. Yeah, to try and make this one single trunk. Crazy Diego. Yeah, with the idea being that one day we will graft onto it. And the plan is actually to try and graft a lemon, an orange, and a grapefruit. So the time has come to try it. But this needs a few, bit more work first. I said it's quite spiky. So I'm currently uh, de-spining it and, put, and putting it into shape a bit. In case any of you didn't know this, citrus trees, they actually have these massive spikes on them and they're really, really, uh, what's the word, strong, lovely things. So I've never actually done a graft before, so fingers crossed. So in some sweet potato slips I bought in with the onions, just had them in water so they can root a bit. I have got some slips I'm getting off some potatoes but who loves sweet potatoes so I want as many as possible. Right, now we are going to go and select some cuttings from the oranges and I think I'll just do orange today and see how it goes and I'll do like three of them and yeah, see how they take. So here is our slightly overgrown citrus grove. So we have lemons, limes, blood oranges, grapefruit and then this big orange tree which does seem to be fairly happy, trying to go into flower. Needs a bit of a feed though, it's wrong with the yellow colour. So, I'm going to look for one of these branches that doesn't have flowers on the end, maybe. So what we want is about 10 centimetres, so it's a little bit over, but that'll do. Right, so this is the bit I'm going to use hopefully healthy enough. And I found a tutorial on YouTube on how to do this. If you've done this before and you know what you're talking about, please let me know. it would be handy. Any pointers? Use sharp clippers. And then making sure that it's 
pointing up the right way, take the bottom and cut with a sharp knife. Cut a V into the end. Something like that. So now what we need to do with this little stunt is to cut a little slit in it so that we can fix this down into this. So. And what I need to do is get some cling film that I left in the kitchen and wrap this up to protect it. Oh, there we go. The video I watched did say to put uh, a bag on top of it, but I don't think I'm going to.
Where did you find him? He fell out of the uh, the doorway above the the bar. He landed on the floor. I thought I'd get him in case I cast him. Yeah, the cat's away. So, yeah, mm. I think he's a type of gecko. Beautiful. Beautiful, aren't they? Mm. Mm. Nice little wall to put you in. That looks better here. Yeah. Looks better down there. Trim this gas here. Yeah. Do with it, sure. So do it now. Yeah, you don't mind. Mm -hmm. um, it's like stones kind of showing. Yeah. Yeah. Magic trick.
perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper would it make any difference would it change for the better if i wrote you a poem if i posted a Time for walkies. Is it time for walkies? Come on then. Yay. Oh. So we're just gonna go for a dog walk. Someone is very. <laughs> Should we go? I'm not excited about that. Come on then. Dodo, come on. <laughs> um. Um, we are also, I'm working on one of the drawing expressions videos, which includes a meditation mo like 15 minutes meditation. So we wanted to get some footage for that. So we thought <laughs> the river would be really nice. Um, and then if the footage is really nice, we can put some in this video for you guys too. Um, we might see if we can capture the kingfisher because he lives by the river. One we'll try. So. We've got the big lens. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Get him sausage. So every time we go on a walk, 
we can either go up or we can go down. And the dogs always seem to guess wrong. Dogs, wrong way! Frankie! Driveway's looking decent. Rain did wash a bit off. But, and more blocks to finish off down here. Cannot wait till that is done. Hmm. You want us to throw you a steak sausage? What is it? Just bits of a uh, crayfish. <laughs> it's been otted, no doubt. No. It's not quite what you expect to see here, is it? It's actually quite rare to see all of these cats together at the same time. That's why. <laughs> I think that happens most of the day. And so we tend not to see so much of Samar until it's food time. Because Shuaf just likes to chase anything that moves. Cuckoo's up. We are having a barbecue this evening. Yeah, thank you so much for all of your suggestions and help with regard to the mimosa. Um, we're definitely going to probably do like a four metre experiment with each of the different suggestions that we have. Um, behind us here is actually the remains of a big mimosa trunk and as you can see we've been using it as a fire pit and it has worked pretty well because none of the mimosa around here where it used to shoot out is shooting out anymore so I think we've got rid of the problem. Plenty more to go. <laughs> Say 
guess sometimes it's okay about it. It's just in the, uh, in the, um, love doing it. Yeah, maybe. Nightingale is back. Oh yeah? That's the nightingale you can hear. That one. Good this day. Oh. A good boy. You like it on the air? Yes, you like it. You registered it. Tiago likes it too. <laughs> hmm? oh. Bless you. It's on the go. I think Diogo is going to be making too much noise. He's just like rustling around. <laughs> and Frankie's digging here. And then I was struggling. Oh, what's that? The bird just like went whoosh, down. Yeah, it's like, it looked like it was just like floating down from the sky. Just by the well, by next door's well, it'll be. Free trial. It's above you, Yuan. Up. Can you see? Oh, wow. So cool. Hope you have a calm day. <laughs>